let's bring up the final bracket. Arcade, open index protocol. The battle of all battles. Are we going to make the internet free again, or are we going to make games fair again? Which one is it going to be? Reminder, you get the first 60 seconds to say whatever you want, right? Yeah. Make your plea. Then we're going to go seamlessly over to you. You get full 60. So you're going to get from six to five minutes. Sure. At that point, I'm going to mix it up. I don't even remember what I just did. So it was directional, but I have no idea how many time slots you're going to get. I might change my mind. So you'll just vamp with me. Okay, ready? Arcade, it's your stage for the next 60 on your go. And that's what Arcade is all about, is to impact the individual. Stop, go. Over the past couple of years, there's a professor at Berkeley School of Music. This is a really important music school. They get about, their, their uh, graduates get about a dozen or so Emmys a year. I'm sorry, um, Grammys a year. Uh, has been saying, uh, he's been writing in like Wired and stuff like that, we need blockchain to save the music business. He also runs a, uh, a label. Um, and he's one of the co-founders of Open Music Initiative at the um, uh, MIT uh, Media Lab. Uh, he gave a presentation a few months ago that I was invited to, and he spent the first, he spent it basically just describing all the awful attempts at doing so, at trying to blockchain the music industry and trying to show, avoid this, avoid this, avoid this. And I was one of the last ones that presented, and he was just raptured. He was just absolutely captivated. And he came up to me afterwards, and we've basically figured out that he is, we're going to be launching a white-labeled version of our application for the Berkeley School of Music so that their students can actually publish their music and put uh, price tags right on it and enable a filmmaker to use it, for example. Stop go 30 seconds. Uh, one of the most important pieces of media that we're focusing on is news, just because of how much uh, impact it can have. And so we're actually working with two other really great partners. One of them is called Albawaba News. They're the largest media distributor in the, in the Middle East. They're going to be launching a white-level project. Uh, and uh, they have four million users. Uh, and another one in uh, South Korea has a million and a half users named Publish Inc. They're also going to be la launching that. So it's going to give us a whole bunch of news content that we'll also be able to filter out into our application. Stop, Stop go. 15. Uh, working with uh, someone that we've worked with at Caltech on a previous project called ETDB, we just designed something called DDX, which is Distributed Database of X. It basically just means you can design a, da a database with the schema that you want and launch a new thing, and it's got the whole back end built behind Stop. it. That. We're opening that up. Stop. Go. 45. Michael Casey is a uh, famous journalist from Wall Street Journal. Uh, he's written for Coindesk, uh, and he's written a bunch of cryptocurrency books that some of you might have read. Uh, he's, he's launching a startup called Streambed that's all about getting uh, filmmakers and musicians to kind of be able to reconnect with their audience in a more direct way. That's also going to be on Open Index Protocol in the spring. Oh, so timing wise. Uh, and. Oh yes, and DDX is basically going to be the Squarespace where you don't have to be a developer, you don't even have to be a web developer to build a new application on Open Index Protocol. And free Stop, girl. go, 10 seconds. 20 years ago I went to war because the news is manipulated and I don't want that to happen anymore. That was one of the most driving factors for why we did this. We want to straighten these things out. 10, 15 seconds, go. Everyone say it with me, let's make the internet great again. <laughs> Tell them why you're the best thing since the internet got invented. One minute, take us home. Iterative and derivative art. All of art, if you think about it, really is derivative to some extent. But the way that the web is built right now, when you distribute a piece of content, it's really locked down in a really non-useful way. It would be fantastic if someone could put out a piece of art and someone else could iterate upon it and improve upon it, make it a little bit better. Star Wars is one of my favorite movies in the world. Uh, but. After watching the prequels, you start to think, well, why is Darth Vader such kind of a slow, clunky flighter, uh, fighter in episode four? Someone on the internet went and made a new version of the, the hallway fight between Obi-Wan and, and Darth Vader, and it's an amazing scene, and it could not be sold right now. One of my favorite music albums is called um, uh, Life After Death Star. It's a mix of Biggie, Life After Death, and John Williams. Again, couldn't possibly be sold, one of the greatest pieces of content I've ever listened to. This is something we really want to enable, is letting artists allow deriv derivation of their work and then sharing it with each other. Give them a hand, guys. Give them a hand, give them a hand. Get your votes in. Standing O from Caitlin Long. You must have done something right. That's awesome. Show us what happened. Wow, neck and neck. Okay, okay, all right. Now. Judges, try and pretend that you're not like rock star business people and that you actually have a little bit of theater and drama in you. Don't start nodding if you agree with the person before you because it'd be fun to not know <laughs> until maybe like the end, okay? So, I'm going to go in a different order this time. No, no. Hen, who do you got? Uh, this is tough, uh, but I'm going to have to go with open index protocol. 
Okay, so we got one and one. So we're tied, right? Okay, Chris, wow. who do you got? Pressure's on. I'm going to go with Arcade. Okay, two to one. So we're either going to go to the tiebreaker vote or we're going to know who the winner is. So, gentlemen, come here for a minute. All right, come here. Come here. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Thank you. I love all you guys. Love you Listen, you guys are awesome. Okay, so uh, all you competitors, this is like the weirdest thing in the world, but like this is the stuff that gets my juices going. So thank you for trusting us. Thank, thank you for you. coming out. Thank you for doing all the hard stuff that all of you do to be an entrepreneur because it's not a glamorous life, and we know that, but it is a meaningful one. Yeah. So for all of you, uh, as we get ready to announce maybe who's going to win or we got to wait for the, the, the last thing, just uh, acknowledge everybody here, acknowledge yourselves, um, and thank you for being part of Sandcastle Startups Challenge, Wyoming Invitational. Who do you got? Open index. Oh, so. Oh. Woo, give me some drum roll. I need some drum roll. Something like something. I don't care what it is. Give me that jam again that was like making me dance earlier. All right, Britain. No pressure, Brittany. You're only going to ruin somebody's day. I was already under a lot of pressure because you guys are both solving what I believe is the world's greatest problem and solving it in very different ways. And I am making my decision because one of you guys is solving more facets of the same issue, and that is open index protocol. Okay, the music's coming. All right. Okay, if you're, if you're one of the final four, please come up to the front to get the check. Take a couple pictures, everybody else. You're free to go eat. I'm going to go run and get the check. That's why I'm leaving you.